Austin Peterson is in the studio with us, editor of the Libertarian Republic. The LibertarianRepublic.com is uh, the website. And uh, there's a new uh, Austin. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Great you to have you with us. So Glad last week, this uh, Pew poll came out that talked on the uh, talked about the 11 percent of the respondents who said that they yes, I'm a libertarian. And then they said, well, what do you think then about things like uh, police should be able to stop and search people who look like criminals? Forty two percent, which is pretty much the same as the general population. Sure. Um, Danny, we, we can go through it. Oh, 41% believe that government should regulate business. 46% believe that corporations make too much profit. 38% believe that government aid to the poor is good. Then you go back and you look at uh, the libertarian platform that David Koch ran on in 1980, which is pretty much still the libertarian platform. The repeal of the FEC, the federal election uh, finance laws, uh, abolition of Medicare and Medicaid, deregulation of the medical insurance industry, uh, repeal of the fraud, increasingly appro- oppressive Social Security system, uh, abolish the government post office, we oppose all personal and corporate taxation, including capital gains, all criminal and civil sanctions against tax evasion should be terminated immediately, we're opposed to minimum wage laws, we're opposed to government schools, the EPA, the DOT, the FAA, Amtrak, the FDA, all aid to the poor programs, all inland waterways. The Koch brothers should be able to own the Mississippi River. Right. Well, those and, are all it, the things that your liberal viewers are going to agree with you on, Tom. But what about all the I platform don't things? Think so. But what about the things that you well that they're going to disagree with? But what about all the things they're going to agree with, like ending the wars, ending the war on drugs? You know, don't you think that the, that you're kind of like stiffing your your listeners by not telling them all the things that they might agree with in libertarians? Well, I you know it's a, this is an important point. And this is why I've I've said for years that libertarians are Republicans who want to smoke dope and get laid and don't want to fight in a war, thank you very much. And, you know, I get that, but the re- we're Republicans part, we're conservatives economically part. That part, you know, most people I don't think know. But what about same-sex marriage? What about equality? What about, uh, what about uh, things like the militarization of police? What about race issues where the libertarians stand arm-in-arm with the progressive allies to try and reduce the militarization of our police? You know, we saw this uh, situation out in, uh, with Michael Brown in St. Louis, and now we have conservative Republicans standing up against the militarization of our local police forces. He had obviously right, ran... But, they're all, but they're on, the fl- on the flip side of that, they are not going to say anything about things like equal rights laws. In fact, you've got people like, you know, Ron Paul saying that, that it was a mistake to to even pass the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act. Uh, well, he's re- he's actually rescinded that comment I he said made. Ron Paul, uh, not uh, Rand. Uh, well, Ron Paul, perhaps, but Rand Paul is the person who is of consequence right now. Ron Paul I know, because he's running for president, so he's retired. not going to be quite as stupid, or he's not going to he's not going to be quite as honest as his father was. Uh, perhaps. His father was a, was a uh, uh, What's the word for somebody who's a presidential candidate but not really a presidential candidate? Oh, uh, well, yeah. yeah like, he, like, like, like a, a kind of cameo candidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like cameo third party-ish, can- I would yeah. say, perhaps. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's about principles, Tom. And, you know, we can debate the Civil Rights Act, you and I, and Title II is specifically the section that we would have to discuss, you know, whether or not, you know, it, it comes down to the same question of the gay marriage, uh, the gay uh, wedding cakes, right? Should right. I be forced to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple if I don't agree with it? It's, or that's should, the you same be forced, issue. should you be forced to let black people sit at your lunch counter that's the, if you that don't is agree the with that? That is the question question if and, you, if you, and do you would say agree with that. and libertarians would say no you shouldn't be forced to serve a black person at your lunch counter if it if it offends your religion which was mormonism until 1987 if it if it offends your personal sensibilities um, well, that's not well, something I think most Americans. Liberty agree is sometimes with. it sometimes breeds ugliness because that's, it allows. That's it, not liberty. It, yeah, well, it that's is not liberty, liberty for black li- people. Well, it's not liberty for and it's black not people liberty. are part of this country. Well, it, you're right. It's not and liberty it's, because it it, it 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 creates the use of force onto people's private property, and that is where the government gets the right to come in and tell you that you can't get married because it's saying, well, conservatives will say, oh, well, you can't you can't intrude on my definition of marriage, so the government will define marriage as one man and one but woman. But the fact of the matter so is your, that both your of those philosophy negates. Your no, not own true. Principles. Both of those, both of those businesses, whether it's the wedding mm-hmm. cake business or whether mm-hmm. it's the, the 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 coffee shop or the the the, the diner mm-hmm. restaurant uh, down in New Orleans mm-hmm. or, or in excuse me in, in Mississippi or mm-hmm. Alabama or Georgia, both of them are being given special privileges by we the people for incorporating. Okay. And that's something that you guys want to perpetuate. In well, fact, you want really. to do away with corporate taxes. Not libertarians. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Libertarians, libertarians don't want, want special cor- they, Republicans, uh, the, the Commerce Chamber of Commerce Republicans want the special privileges for corporations. The Libertarian Party has never come out and said that they are opposed to 
to uh, limited liability protection for corporations. Well, they're, they're, Never they're, said that. Well, they're opposed to the, to they're the totally United States government. They're totally in favor government. of that. Well, no, they're, well, they want protections because they've got the government okay, coming so in and Okay, so you want protections for corporations, but you don't want protections for black people. This is, this is a well, wonderful you're talking point for, no, you're for affluent young white libertarians. You're conflating, but, you're conflating Republicans with libertarians, and libertarians are a philosophical bent. Republicans are the corporatist stooges that you're degrading. And I think that the point is, is that you have to, you have to separate that philosophy. Okay. Well, I am liber- talking about libertarians. But libertarians don't want special benefits for corporations. We are against corporatism that you've talked about in many of your books that I've read. The corporatists are the problem. The you pro- are not a pro. Uh, the, the Libertarian Party, uh, you know, I know this for a fact, is not. At all. The, the state should not. You should not have to get a license from the state to run a business. That's what the libertarians believe, that you should not have to go and get incorporated, quote unquote. Corporations wouldn't exist without the government. Corporations are a creation of government because of the licensing that you have to go and get. So in a totally free market, you would not have corporations because corporations so as you just exist have, now would you just not have exist. Billionaires. No, well, you just have people creating businesses. That's what you, you have. Just have the and you'd have more small businesses, Squishy I bet, than large no. businesses. No, they would crush large all the competition that got major, their way. Big corporations, well, that's what they do now. Big corporations yes, use exactly. the power of government, they, but they use their power of incorporation as a as a hammer against small businesses and competition because big corporations don't like competition. Big corporations are not using the little guy. The, the extent to stand it, no, for small businesses. Okay, That's the extent how it to is. which corporations are using government as a hammer is particularly in the corporate in the uh, copyright and patent laws. Are That's you in correct. favor of doing doing away with copyrights and patents? Absolutely, absolutely. I, yes, I'm a libertarian, Tom. I'm not some big corporatist Republican. Okay. There, there might be, uh, you know, some some other areas where we would find some agreement. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, how can you say that if somebody invents something, they mm-hmm. shouldn't own it? They shouldn't have rights to it. Well, it depends on I mean, what it is they, that they've invented. This is, if you if you read Atlas Shrugged, mm-hmm. I mean, the ho- the whole essence of this thing was that uh, this guy had invented this new kind of steel. Well, the Randians, and he was going right. to hold the patent on it. Therefore, mm-hmm. he was the only one who controlled it. He wanted to bring it to this railroad, and the railroad said, great, we're, we will try it out, but you know, our employees don't want to because the union doesn't want to be the guinea pigs who test this steel. I mean, that all assumed that the copyright, the trademark laws, uh, excuse me, the uh, patent laws mm-hmm. were in effect. Well, the problem is, is the patent laws that we have last way too long now, and they, I think that if you're going to have one, maybe for three years at, be- at most would be the, most re- the best way to do it, but we have to, uh, we, and we need innovation. And you, how can you patent an idea? You know, it's like a chemical formula. If someone comes up with a cure for cancer, and they say, oh, we're going to patent this for 20 years or 100 years or something which like that. Which they do right now. Which they absolutely do right now, and it's wrong. I should be able to create that chemical po- compound if I figure out what it is and be able to save more lives. You know, that's the libertarian way, that's the libertarian view on this is here's the, here's the problem way. with with what you're saying austin your mm-hmm. your libertarian perspective mm-hmm. does not account for the public good mm-hmm. i mean you know, it has, this, well it, it's that's it, right it has the it, individual's good in mind right exactly your your criteria your sort criteria mm-hmm. is me mine and i would submit to you, you that yours. the sort the sort criteria of the founders of this republic was we ours. Well, it's the idea of do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So you, I get my individual rights, no, you also no, get your individual idea rights. I got mine, screw you. Not really, because uh, the, the economy it's, is not is a zero-sum game. No, because the economy is not a zero-sum game. Because when I go and I buy something from you, you say thank you, I say thank you. Why? Because we've both benefited. That's how capitalism works. Not if you decided that you're not going to... It's gonna, not a zero-sum that, game. If, Politics if, is a zero-sum game. Not if you've decided that you're not going to sell me something because I'm black. Uh, well, wouldn't you rather know that that guy's a racist idiot so that you can not purchase from that guy? Now the problem is is that because That's of the law... That's a very, very weak of, argument. No, it's not, because here's the thing. If you know that someone is a racist business owner, then you know not to frequent that establishment. Right. That's, the best way, that's the best way to do business. <laughs> so you want to take us back to 1920 and segregation? No, uh, that was Woodrow Wilson, your, fa- or your favorite progressive hero that was a big segregationist, if you remember, of course. It, it was it, the it, big racist who said, you know, blacks shouldn't vote for him. A, the Wilson hero is not my hero. Is. B, it's not just, it's not just Wilson. It's, it was everybody prior to the night mm-hmm. in any case I, it, Austin Peterson the libertarian republic.com is the website thanks for dropping by Austin thanks Tom good to see you we'll be right back